Okay, what is up? It is approximately 9.19 ow p.m. And I just got home from work, ate dinner, and then all of a sudden, boom, um, early release. Oh, and let me preface this by saying that, you know, I know I haven't really talked about the sequel much, and um, I think it's because I let out a shit ton of steam, uh, if you don't remember, when the first one came out, and uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a nice thing to give Michael Bay a little break. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna stop fucking talking. Here we go. Wide screen. What's happening out there, Donnie? I don't know. It doesn't look good. This is straight up Dimension X, I think. Gear up, guys. Whoa! Okay, the party van looks freaking sweet. Explosions, of course. Okay, well, at least the party van is doing what it's supposed to do and shooting out those manhole covers. Okay, so far, props to the party van. Here we go. What are you? Superheroes? <laughs> Am I a fan of the music of this trailer? No, it's kind of giving it a douchey vibe. But let's continue. <laughs> Just four brothers. Megan Fox entering the frame. And my boner starting to shrivel. Police. And love this city. Whoa, whoa, this never works out well for you. I'm just gonna keep playing it. All right, we got some Casey Jones up in here, played by Stephen Amell. One question. Are you two guys like a thing? I'm looking for Aaron Lord. But we could work with that. Me too. This is gonna be good! This has to be Baxter Stockman. For you. Oh, y'all got jokes, huh? What was that? I'm sorry, I need to rewind this. All right, at this freeze frame right here, I did we just travel back in time to like Britney Spears's first music video? Why is this happening? Can someone can can someone please explain why April O'Neil is dressed like a slutty schoolgirl? Someone can a fortune cookie drop from the sky? Some kind of smoke signal? A fuck headwig? Can someone just show up and bring me some sort of information that'll make this any better for me? Some clarification? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Pfft. Fuck, am I torn? There's some aspects of this trailer that are like, fuck yeah, turtles, and and these new characters that they're bringing in, like Baxter and fucking Casey Jones, again played by Stephen Amell, which I I absolutely love the casting choice there. And then there are things that just remind you of the pain caused from the first one, like the fact that they look heavily roided up still. And then of course, uh, the most painful aspect of, of it all is, is Megan Fox playing. I was secretly hoping that maybe someone would have recast her or something, something miraculous. There's just, you can just tell when an actor's not in it, you know? Um, they're just not into 
the franchise or what the fuck they're involved in, and that's exactly what I get from Megan Fox, aside from the fact that she's completely wrong for the role. Um, that one line, the one line in the trailer that I forgot what the fuck she says, I have to watch it again, but she's like, hey, you guys, you guys. She's like, uh, it's just this very lackluster. And then and then she pops in later in like fucking schoolgirl uniform showing her freaking stomach. Like, what? But unfortunately, all I can see is Michael Bay needs to put some TNA. People love the turtles. You don't need to inject needless TNA. We get it, she's a beautiful woman. You don't need that. And I'm not at all hating on Bebop and Rocksteady. I think they look cool. Do I feel like some of the CG looks still kind of on the cheesy, extraordinarily fake side? Yes. Again, uh, when a trailer comes out, the movie's not entirely finished yet. So hopefully the graphics improve when the film comes out. I love the turtles for many reasons, and one of them is be the whole martial arts aspect of it all. And I didn't really get that. I get like this MMA feel from it. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, we're dudes. They did learn ninjutsu, you know, the sacred art of ninjutsu from a book, from a how-to book in the sewer. The whole martial arts idea kind of went out the window with the first film. So it's not like I was expecting that to improve. One thing that I that just stood out to me, you know, my memory's flashing with the, what I just saw. Is it just me or did Baxter Stockman look like Neil deGrasse Tyson? I think there was some influence there and I'm not complaining. I fucking love Neil deGrasse Tyson. It was kind of funny, but they should have they should have cast Neil deGrasse Tyson. I wonder if they approached him. Yeah, and there was something just very cool about his look in general, very almost animated. Like he just came right out of the cartoon. And that's pretty much all I can take away from the trailer at this moment is that it's all of what I just said and it's action packed. You can't have a, a Bay film without action packedness. Again, the very beginning, I do believe there's gonna be a big Dimension X factor into this whole thing. So that should be interesting. <sighs> Again, if they would just in a perfect world, if Megan Fox would just be like, I don't wanna do this anymore. And then someone amazing walks in. I don't care if she's a no name. I prefer that over, oh God. It is what it is. I don't hate it. I sure as hell don't love it. Am I gonna see it? Of course, um, especially because there are some elements that I am excited about which is a lot, okay, considering I really wasn't excited about a lot of things um, before I saw the first one. So yeah, I'm gonna try to stay faithful despite some of the things I didn't like. I'm going to hang on to the things I did like. Leave your thoughts and comments in the box thing below. I'm fucking tired, but I'm glad I was able to catch this and I'm even more glad that I was able to shoot this little thing with you guys. We experience all of this together. So cowabunga, booyakasha, and stay geeky, my friends. <laughs>